Welcome to my channel, I am GDP, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Void uh, Heroes and also what people should be doing if they do use cores and get stars, um, if, what they should be converting them into uh, either COT or a, uh, or Stellar Shards. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and well, I'm actually, I'm going to have this in the background, so we'll run some of these fights in the background and talk a little bit about it. Um, so the only, the main reason why I'm making this video is because I literally just finished uh, watching a video from another content creator that did a bunch of cores and decided to uh, build a void hero and using those stars that they got from those cores to convert into COT. Um, personally, I think that was a bad decision. Uh, my personal opinion is that account should have just waited a couple of weeks to get the last remaining COT um, and then just grab Stellar Shards. Um, the reason being is because Stellar Shards imprints in general are just a massive, massive, massive boost to your hero's power. Uh, heroes that are V3 plus are going to destroy uh, void heroes that don't have a whole lot of imprints. Um, so, for example, if you have to use 10 stars to convert to COT, that's 2.5 million uh, stellar shards that you could have. That's a V3 hero. So, yeah, you're saving yourself quite a bit of time of farming the Realm's Gate and the Vortex uh, by grabbing COT, but you're missing out on a bunch of Stellar Shards that you could be getting that would be making your heroes uh, more powerful. Uh, it's, it's, I always think it's better to just get the stellar shards and invest them into a non-transcendence hero like a Tix, like a russell um sherlock whatever it may be um they're gonna and you can just regress it later on when you do get your void hero so there, there's no harm done there um so just my personal opinion guys if you're in that tr that predicament of oh like i'm really close to getting my void hero if i just use these stars for cot rather than stellar just wait, please be patient. Uh, your account progress or your hero's power will thank you once you do, if you do wait, um, you're gonna be in much better shape. If you do wait, you're gonna, your hero's gonna be a lot stronger. Um, so yeah, just grab the Stellar, don't grab the COT, don't think about it. The only reason anyone I think should be grabbing COT is if they are, trying to build multiple multiple void heroes and that's the only way to accumulate that many who i usually don't lose to abyss here um but yeah so grab stellar shards it's most likely always going to be the better option uh just invest them into russell the tix tix is a great hero to invest in uh, especially since a v4 tix v3 with speed and prince tix is very strong in pvp and also a high void tix is very good in both the realms gate and the vortex so um yeah i i, I think i think i that's all i really had to say about that um i just kind of got i watched the, the video and kind of got triggered a little bit um watching stars get converted into cot i was like screaming at my phone while i was watching the video I'm not going to say the content creator's name, but if you know, you, but most of you guys probably know who I'm talking about if you watch the video. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I really have to say about that. Um, the next thing I got to let's talk about is uh, should you choose SFX or should you choose Queen as your first Transcendence hero? Um, I think that question is a lot harder and more nuanced. Um, to really answer it's it kind of comes down to personal preference or like what you want out of your team um 
if you need a hard solo carry, if you don't have like really, really good non transcendence heroes, like if your team's not like super strong, like you don't have a, sh a bunch of meta heroes. SFX is most likely going to do better for you. SFX is a solo carry, a very hard solo carry too. Like she can carry your team very hard if your team is weak, even a strong team. And SFX goes into a strong team. Um, SFX will outshine everyone. Uh, she's a very good hero, very, very solid PVP hero. Um, she does have her flaws, um, but She's very solid and is a solo carry versus a team player. And Queen is a team player. Uh, Queen can make a strong team better um, just by adding her in. Uh, she scales really well with other heroes that have high attack like a Tix or Russell's, even SFX. Um, but yeah, so any, a hero that has high attack, like high attack Rogans maybe or something, uh, Texas, as I said, Russell's, uh, maybe like an A and B Sherlock, uh, all going to have high attack and do a lot of damage off of Queen's passive ability. Um, and Queen, I think personally, I'm not, don't, don't kill me if I'm wrong in this in, in the end, but personally, I do think Queen's going to be the better overall Void Hero. Um, I think she, cause just because she's a team player, uh, Queen's a team player and SFX is not a team player. Um, and I think team players usually do better than just solo players, <laughs> especially in a game like this, when you're, in, when you're, uh, the game's usually about team synergy or synergy. Um, so once like Void Asmil comes out, and other feature void heroes, I do think queens could perform better in the slot versus SFX. I mean, I could be wrong, um, but I do think void queens just gonna scale really, really, really well with the other transcendence heroes. And if you were, and once Asmo comes out and say you can only have two void heroes, I personally think that it's gonna be better to have queen and Asmo than it is to have SFX and ASMO. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I think that's how it's gonna end up playing. I think Queen's just, she's a team player. And team players usually will have um, a little bit more of a longe longevity in their life than a non-team player. Um, so I hope that kind of helps people uh, answer that question. Um, I know I, I'm not saying, hey, pick SFX or, hey, pick Queen. I'm not doing that. I, I refuse to do that. I think it's more of a personal choice on what you feel like you want. Um, and also, what hero you like better or like what heroes you have. It, it, it's, it's, it's all situational. Like, you can have teams that have no sfx and just queen and good and destroy an sfx team um the only other the only thing is is if you have no void heroes you're not going to be able to really compete against people that have two void heroes um i think having one void hero lets you somewhat compete against the two void hero teams um We'll see how it goes in the in the long run. Um, I do think that you're gonna see a bigger immediate jump with F SFX versus Queen, but overall longevity, I do kind of think Queen's gonna be better. Um, so I so once again, I I hope that answers the question. Pick who you want. That's that's the long gist of it. Or short gist of it. Just pick who you want. It's they're both really good. They both have their own purpose. Um, but I do think Queen's gonna have the longevity over SFX. FSX SFX right now though, if you don't have a strong team right now, SFX will do far better for you now than Queen will.
because Queen's not going to do good in a not on a team that's not very good. But SFX will do really well in a team that is not very good. So if if you have not many heroes and you're a, a big whale, I would probably pick up SFX because head head to head SFX will beat Queen on a one v one. But if a queen has a really, really good team, has the counters to SFX, has the Sherlock's, has like a raw or something to kill the SFX, queen team can win. So once again, hope that answers your question. Um, I know I was kind of just rambling a little bit. I kind of got triggered, as I said, about watching the video and watching someone convert um, stars into COT. Uh, but yeah, so let's... Go ahead and finish watching this fight here. We are in round 39. Um, this should push me into uh, Void Corruption 62 after this fight. Oh, that was a big hit right there. And one more. There we go. So 195 billion. And we have unlocked uh void corruption 62 so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm um, a little bit of a ramble today but catch you guys in the next one